they came by the hundreds to take in all the sights and sounds of Trunk or Treat 2023. And there was plenty of that. Scary, hairy spiders. Dozens of skeletons everywhere you turned. There were even blue sharks. Little dogs looking for a treat. As well as giant dogs. Even cute, cuddly baby kittens. And yes, there was candy. Lots and lots of candy. The Dickinson family just moved to the coast and they all knew they wouldn't be spinning their wheels by stopping by for some family fun. We think it's fantastic. I love community things that bring families together and we are super excited that we get to do this with our kids. It's wonderful. This free community event is tailor-made for the Y because that's what we do. You know, we host these events um, for our community members because it's a great way for people to get to know about the Y. It's part of our mission to bring the community together and allowing families to come here and celebrate and have a good time and get to know other families and more about the Y is just part of what we do. Churches like St. Paul United Methodist couldn't resist setting up shop and handing out goodies. So we have a lot of fun at St. Paul and one of the things that we love to do is just every opportunity we get to be in the community and to shake hands, to talk to people, to pray with people. Several businesses like the Ashley Home Store decided to try their hand at Trunk or Treat. We wanted to do this for the kids. I'm newer to the area still so we wanted to put ourselves out there and do something great with the community. Even new employees of the Y were amazed by the feeling of family and togetherness found at the event. I love working for the YMCA. They have something for everyone from newborn to senior. Um, and they're just close to my heart. It feels like being back at home. And home is where the heart is. And there were plenty of warm hearts beating with happiness. Now we wait until next year to do it all over again. Doug Walker, reporting for our YMCA.